get some guy like you, I bet you get 70% of the women. No, he's hoping. Of course, it helps your wife die of cancer. I mean, I'm sorry, but the sympathy vote's in your pocket. Yeah, I appreciate your support. Listen, Senator, my union has a hell of a watch. Yes. Um, I've always been strong on the union. The thing is, you always go on in your speeches about the workers in Indonesia, Cambodia, Timbuktu. Because I think we have a, a moral... My life. union members are hurting. They don't care about moralists and all that. Are you all right? Senator. Ah, hey! You guys are gonna love that. I've been under the weather for weeks, you know, lots of traveling. I'm supposed to be in the Sudan next week. Oh! Helps me concentrate. Even better than drugs. Open your mouth, please. Ah! Quite a scar. When I was six, I um, fell off the swing and bit my tongue. Couldn't talk right for the longest time. <laughs> Lots of teasing. You know, it just made me fight harder, speak up for those who can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tongues heal too fast. Your political consultants have written you a nice story. And a tight race that Lispers alone could put you over the top. You uh, a Republican or you just hate all politicians? I just find being forced to sit through drivel annoying. You find sincerity annoying. You're a black kid from the ghetto who made it to Yale Law and the United States Senate. That's a sufficiently mythical story. You don't need to lie about your tongue. Must have missed it. What's wrong? What is it? It's not the food. It's your brain. Get an MRI and a lumbar puncture. Cancel your travel plans. It's not a brain tumor. It's not a bacterial infection either. So you biopsied his brain for nothing? If that were true, would Dr. Wilson's mouth be contorted into that ugly shape? It's toxoplasmosis. You sure? Which means the great black hope has full-blown AIDS. They're gonna love that in Dubuque. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna give me the drugs for the toxo only. You're going to test me for HIV under a false name. You are going to test me for cancer and anything else that could have done this to me. If I have cancer, I will deal with it. But I do not have AIDS. Uh-uh. No pills. What's going on? The antiretrovirals aren't working. Why not? Because you don't have AIDS. <laughs> first test was a false positive. Happens one time in every 5,000. You r ran a second test? Yeah. You're still dying. The only difference is now we don't know why. Slightly enlarged lymph node in his left armpit. How slightly? Quarter mil. Lymphoma? Sure. Or he's had a cold in the last six months. But you've got her on speed dial? I just follow the scent of arrogance. Another slightly enlarged node over here. Two more in his neck and one in his groin. And there's a cyst in his liver. Looks complex. Central necrosis? Spontaneous bleeding. It's benign. I was rooting for a really cool tumor. Instead, we're stuck with this crap. Doesn't matter. Once you find him, you gotta check him. Knock yourselves out. Kidney and liver cysts are both benign, and the lymph nodes all came back clean. His left armpit node has antibodies for CD11. Well, not enough to indicate lymphoma. We never tested for hairy cell leukemia. No, but we would have picked it up somewhere else besides one lymph node. And his spleen isn't enlarged. Size isn't everything. And the spleen is the mother load for hairy cells. 
Let's cut it open. You can't biopsy his spleen. It'll bleed like steam. In the senator's condition, a spleen biopsy could easily cause sepsis and kill him. Why do you do this to me? Now, if I kill him, I can't tell the judge I had no idea of the risks involved. His brain is turning into mush, and he's at risk for more infections. We have to do it. See? That don't sound much better in court. OK, go tell our human pin cushion we'll be sticking him one more time. It's positive for Epstein-Barr. So what? Doesn't point to Harry's cell. It's irrelevant. You didn't fall off the swings when you were eight. Six. Ever. Take that back. Uh-uh. We have to talk. You had an epileptic seizure. That's how you bit your tongue. Seven. Seven. Caesar says I... What medication did you take? No. Caesar, since I was six, no dr dr drugs since I was ten. Yeah, that's it. Don't worry about what the question is. Don't worry that you're starting to feel dizzy. Just stay on message. <laughs> my, my mother used to call, call it. Benetoin? Yeah! Okay, okay, you're okay. It's okay. Everybody lies. He took Phenetoin. That drug with the Epstein-Barr virus is associated with common variable immunodeficiency disease. T cells down, B cells down, keeps you from forming enough antibodies. See, the antibodies are basically your defensive line. And your brain is like the quarterback. And then the fungi are like blitzing linebackers, plunging up the middle. Your lungs are like... OK, you got two quarterbacks. CVID, that's a type of immunoglobulin deficiency. I said that. Yeah. Well, it was a stupid idea when you said it. Then he got the respiratory problem, and he tested positive for Epstein-Barr. It was pretty much a childhood disease. It's another reason why Chase's suggestion was idiotic. He got it when he was a kid. Didn't get any symptoms until now. It happens. It gets triggered by stress, like public speaking. So you're basing your diagnosis on a virus that's relatively common and a drug he took 30 years ago. Start the senator on IV immunoglobulin stat. If he gets better, I'm right. If he dies, you're right. Dr. House. Fake that. No. Say antiretroviral. Antiretroviral. Now say it three times fast. <laughs> we just got back your latest blood results. Your white cells are up, your T cells are back over 100. Well, that's, that's good, right? In a week, that's terrific. You'll need medication for the rest of your life, but other than that, you're fine. Am I well enough to run for president? Then why not run for Pope while you're at it? Oh, come on. Kennedy had Addison's, FDR had polio. Two of the best presidents in the last hundred years. If they were running today, they wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> so you figure you'd be Surgeon General if you didn't have the limp. No, there's things I can't do. And like you said, I have to live with reality. Well, then I'm running. Good for you. Now, don't get excited. He's right. I, um, I, I won't win. Then why run? Oh, I see. Your point being, the only way to make a difference is to win every fight. <laughs>